Welcome to this lesson in 3ds Max and V-Ray. We will learn how to create this realistic grass scene. Uh, now, before we uh, start with the scene, we have just to understand a few things. I will open Google and I will search for grass. Now we can open such image and something like this. Just before we create the scene, we must understand how we want the grass blades to be. Now one thing to note is, as you can see here, the tip of the blade is pointed. It's not flat, it's pointy. And another thing we can see is the blades are flat they're not a tube or three-dimensional objects they are simply like planes planes like this with a pointy tip and another thing we can notice is that we have grass blades that's going in this direction in this direction in various directions there are just ran randomness, a, a lot of variety in directions. If we check something like this, hmm. okay, it's not a problem. Yeah, the same thing. We can uh, see that the variation is very, uh, very high in the direction and the curl so here's my scene you can download it in the description and I have a plane I applied a turbo smooth modifier with a noise that has a large scale a noise with a low scale and the UVW map. So first let's just delete the fur object to see how to create it. So after you create the plane or whatever object that you want the grass to be on, just select it and come from geometry here and come down to V-Ray. Now check the uh, V-Ray, select the V-Ray for modifier and here you have it. One thing to note is the length is 1.1, I chose 1.1 centimeters. Make sure that you put the units to centimeters and the thickness to something low like 0.013 the gravity can be the same don't just leave it uh, without any modification now here's one thing we need to do the bend if it's one if it's uh, uh, at one you can see the grass is very bended and we don't want that we want the bend to be low not very low that they are straight up something like 25 0 0.25 23 that's it and make sure you uh, turn the taper to 1 the taper makes sure that all the grass blades are uh, pointy they uh, the tip has to be something like this so just make sure to put the taper at 1 make sure the flat normals is checked if not it will look like uh, tubes not uh, flat normals and here in the variation also turn this to 1 the length to 1 the thickness variation can be at 0 0.5 leave the gravity and the curl variation at 0 0.2 and 0 0.2 uh, 
and the dis here in the distribution just uh, note something you may want to start at a low value something like 0.1 or 0.2 that's because it's uh, it's uh, very dangerous if you have a high value your computer would crash if you have not saved the uh, file the file you, you'll lose all the pro so the progress that you had so make sure to start at a low value I tried uh, many values and I saw that 0 0.8 or 0 0.9 is a good value and here uh, in the max hairs in the preview in the viewport just put Put it to 6000 or, or something like that. Uh, make sure the placement is on the entire object and we are ready to take um, our first render. Uh, before we render, let's create the material for the ground. Here, you can pick any slot that you want. And in the diffuse, we want to add a simple bitmap here I have a grass map I'll view it so this is my grass map I edited it on Photoshop it's a mix between grass and uh, green grass with um, something like that yellowish uh, grass just to add some variation to it so here again uh, press this button and select color correction keep old map as sub map okay and you need to decrease the hue to something like minus 15 minus 14 something like that just so we have a yellowish instead of greenish material so at minus 15 the saturation also can be decreased to minus 12 and we will copy this to the reflect as a copy now here in the reflection, uh, reflection, just come here and desaturate it. Add a value of um, 35 by 35 by 35. Okay. Now in the reflection glossiness, we also need to make a copy here. 0.6. and we want a mix of the map and the reflection value so we will put this at 50 and the reflection glossiness again also we want to create a copy for the bump just leave it as is raise it to something like 55 um, I think we can add some contrast to the bomb, something like this so here's the material for the, the ground I have created a UVW map here's how it looks like before you add the UVW map make sure it's planner add the length to be 5 the width to be 5 and this is a good size for our material don't worry if you feel that it's repetitive it will not appear uh, in the rendering because the, it will be covered in grass we can work on this we can reduce this repetitive uh, repetitiveness uh, but we don't need that for now so now select the V-Ray fur and again in the material editor come into another slot 
select um, here and uh, not in the diffuse just change it to a V-Ray two-sided material I will take a copy from the ground material to the front here and I will change the reflection here to, to black the diffuse um, we don't need a color correction so I will copy this and paste it again so we only have the map we want it to be greenish and uh, we, we can uh, increase the reflection glossiness to something like 0.8 so uh, we can leave those again also uh, 50 and 50 but now let's copy this and this without the color correction leave the bump as is, just decrease it to something like 30 yeah so here's our base or our front material for the grass and let's create a back material simple V-Ray material with a color something like uh, like this Mm, I think let's add this value 80, 184, 17. Hit OK and in the trans translucency make sure they are at 45, 45 and 45. So here's the grass material. Now you might ask why did I choose a V-Ray two-sided material uh, you can try to create a material that is uh, a very a simple material and take a render but I'll show you uh, an example how it would look like I will add this and I'll take a render right now I'll pause the video for now the render has finished and as you can see we have this dull looking very very um, boring material for the grass now if you want to compare it let's compare it with our final grass you can see there is a huge difference between the two so that's why I chose a V-Ray two-sided material and uh, you'll now see the difference after we apply our material right now I will uh, pause the video and show you how it produce okay so you can see the difference right away I will uh, just compare them I'll set this as A and this as B and just by changing this you can see the difference here's the V-Ray two-sided material and here's the normal material a very huge difference yeah so um, I'll just take those out we have a very nice looking um, uh, material for now as you can see the grass is going in one direction almost the, the main direction is upwards so this is again not realistic if we compare it to something like this or this or even this one you can see it's uh, it's not realistic yet so what we need to do is this here in the maps of the V-Ray fur we have a bend direction map and here I'll bend direction map for V-Ray fur here's how it works uh, from the cyan to magenta means from left to right this is the direction of the bend and uh, th from the violet to green it's up and down from the yellowish color to 
blue is the height controls the height so I created a um, stripes on Photoshop I will upload this in the description you can use it as well so this will uh, create a variety in the direction and the height and also the bend amount of the uh, the curls of the grass so I will apply it just come here press the none add a bin map select colors this um, JPG and now if we uncheck this you can see there is a difference so um, I have it already rendered I'll show you how it looks like it will look like this you can see we have a variety in the direction and the bending and also the height so here's the final render this is how it will looks uh, it will look like I'll compare it to our first render you can see the difference here uh, in the previous one without the bend material uh, they were all going upwards and here they're going in various directions and it gives a realistic uh, looking uh, grass if you want to compare it with this this is our final one here's the previous one so I hope you enjoyed this video and uh, uh, leave a comment uh, below please and uh, please subscribe to to watch all the new content make sure also to enable the notifications to be notified when new videos are be are uploaded if you want to if you want me to uh, do a video on how to convert this this scene to this scene on Photoshop post-production um, I will be glad to do it for you so thanks for watching and I'll see you next time